In this video, I'll be answering the questions Is Wonder Woman going to the moon? And is it too late to jump on board? I'd also be sharing a potential big brain move that I've done on the market that I'm wondering what people will think of. So what you can see here first of all is Wonder Woman, it's official, is overtaking the ultra rare hot girl. So this means for me is even if you weren't lucky enough to get a ultra rare, even if you only end up getting a common on a drop, you're still potential to make some gems and actually be happy with what you got. So a lot of people did get the common, but interestingly, the common still only has about 600 listed on the marketplace. So that's still over 9,000 people are holding on to for the future. Uh, Hot Girl is kind of similar numbers in terms of what's on the market, but there's far, far fewer of those available because it's an ultra rare. So we can see the price window in here. And what I've actually done is I've been making use of the Ecomi Wiki. The link will be in the description, which kind of goes over the um, price so far for the past 24 hours of Windwim. So just for reference, the red line is the price in the secondary market, and the blue line is the total number of listings on the market there. So you can see, first of all, relatively straightforward. When there's a lot more on the market, the price tends to go down, and when there's less of a supply, the price goes up. So typical supply and demand there. But interestingly, if you look at the brew numbers here, it's never peaked above 800. So there are so many Wonder Woman editions being held on to. And that's very interesting for me because it means people are getting smarter, getting wise to the fact that first editions are important. And you can also see here the price has gone up and down relatively quickly in a short space of time. But it's been pretty consistently going up overall in terms of that direction and it's currently sitting at about 292 so it has surpassed the hot girl ultra wear now will this be going up further in the future i don't yet know uh, i do believe and this is not financial advice from my opinion i do believe uh, it will continue to go up for a bit more i could see it within the next few weeks going to something like 500 potentially but really it depends on what other people are doing in terms of those who have wonder women and who aren't selling just now if they keep holding then I do suspect the price will go up. If we start to see more people trying to capitalise and flip and make some profit on those Wonder Women's, you might see the price start to come down. As more people start to kind of sell, they start to undercut each other and the price might drop. So it's really a, a difficult place for a lot of people in. Just now, do we buy in just now at almost 300 gems with the hopes that it'll pick up or do we wait and see what happens? So this is not financial advice, but looking at the, the data here, my own personal opinion, if I was about picking up another Wonder Woman. Um, I would wait to have a bit more of a dip first. We notice this kind of pattern of it going up and then people want to flip and cash in so they sell, uh, price goes down, more people buy up and the same thing happens, that pattern repeating over time of peaks and troughs but the overall average price keeps going up each time higher and higher so I would wait to see a bit more of a dip, maybe even just down to 240, 220 and if you are thinking about buying in it, that might be a good opportunity and see how it goes from there. But I always do say, do your own research, look at the listings on the market, check your Comey Wiki, and decide for yourself based on what you've learned, do you think this is the right time to buy or sell or to wait? So moving on, uh, another move I've seen in the marketplace here is strange enough, Zombie Hunter Spider-Man number one, first appearance. When this first came out, it was part of a blind box, 50 gems. And for most of the time it came out, the price had been quite low, quite below the fifth gem mark. You can see here straight away it kind of dipped way down at one point to just under 25 gems. And it's been slowly going up and down. But something happened around about middle of November here, where it kind of jumped up, kind of held there just under the, the fifth gem mark. And now it's been going up and down uh, quite consistently over the past few weeks there. And you can see at the same time as that the price has been up, the actual total number available on the marketplace has dipped down from a high of about 2,000 down to about 1,200 or thereabouts. So a bit of a refresh here, the Zombie Hunter Spider-Man had about 18,200 editions available. So it had 2,000 editions for sale on the market and now it's gone down to about 1,200 odds for sale on the market. So that means that people are holding on and people are buying up uh, these Zombie Hunter Spider-Man. I suspect that might be related to a video I did previously where uh, Marvel Zombies have been announced for its own separate season of shows on Disney Plus as well as the fact that Marvel Zombies will be making an appearance in a future season of What If on Disney Plus and finally Spider-Man's got a new movie coming out 
in a few weeks' time, as of recording, Spider-Man No Way Home, where it's potential multiverse, multiple versions of a character shown up could happen. So maybe people are speculating the hype buzz around Spider-Man, and also maybe a zombie hunter Spider-Man makes an appearance there. So what I've done here is I've decided a potential big brain move for me is I've sold some uh, collectibles for a small profit. Uh, it was previous ones I got from Eternals and Batgirl. And the reason why I did this big potential big brain move is I've actually bought into uh, Zombie Heart Spider-Man. I really wish I'd bought him when he was at 25 gems, but you can see here at the time of recording, I paid 57 gems for him and he's going for about 57.99. So not planning to see him today, but I did pick up a fairly low serial number. And it's just be interesting to see how this does over time. And I will be giving regular updates on my channel. I'm thinking about doing more live streams as well, where I can kind of cover a few topics in a short space of time, having separate videos. So I might do a market review and recap of my collectibles. So let me know in the comments below. First of all, if you think this was a good idea of picking up the Zombie Hunter Spider Man, whether or not you think Wonder Woman will continue to go up in price, and if you'd like to see me live stream, what kind of things would you see talk about and cover in a future live stream? I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you found it useful, it really does help out. If you hit the like button, it means other people can find this video and find that information. If you click the subscribe button, it really helps me out because it lets me know what people value the content I'm doing. It helps others find this content and gives me that impetus to keep producing videos. You might want to check out this video here. It's been very popular on the channel. Or you can check out this video here. I'm sure you like it. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.